What's happening? What's happening, y'all? What's happening? I don't like to get my stuff together. You know what I'm saying? <sighs> what's good, y'all? What's good? We about to jump on this reaction. I don't know if y'all know anything about the Brat Pack, the 80s famous group of young talent, y'all. I'm talking about people that's still relevant today in today's movies and today's TV. And this was like the Beatles, y'all. This group was like the motherfucking Beatles. If y'all don't know who the Brat Pack, who they were and who they are, y'all need to go back and uh, check some shit out from back in the 80s. A lot of 80s movies. One of my favorite 80s movies that had a majority of the Brat Pack in it was The Breakfast Club. <sighs> Hold on for one second, y'all. Yeah, I just had to check something out on my phone. But uh, Emilio Estevez, that's my favorite Brat Pack celebrity. My favorite one. He's probably the biggest star to come out of the... People say it's Rob Lowe. You know, but I'm going with Emilio Estevez. He got to be the biggest to come out of that. I mean, you got a lot of them that was in that. Well, I'll take it back. Demi Moore. It's between Demi, uh, Demi Moore and Emilio Estevez. It got to be. I don't know if uh, the Karate Kid, I don't know if he was part of it. What is his name? Uh, Ralph Macchio. I don't know if he's part of the uh, Brad Pack. I'm not 100% sure on that. But I'm guessing they're going to show a lot of that on this trailer we're about to jump into. So let's get up into uh, to this, y'all. Let's see what this is all about. I'm looking forward. I think it's a Hulu special. They should have had this shit on Netflix. I don't even got Hulu, but I'm going to have to get it now just to watch this for real. They broke as hell putting it on Hulu. Well, let's check this out. Yep, Hulu. That sucks. June 13th. I got, got a little time before I get it. If you were coming of age in the 1980s, the Brat Pack was near the center of your cultural awareness. But for those of us experiencing Ooh, it from him. the inside... Look at him. Uh, is that dude from Weekend at Bernie's? I forgot he was in a Brat Pack. He, I mean, he, he looks good for his age now, but that's one of my favorite 80s movies, Weekend at Bernie's. I think he starred in it. I, the Brat Pack was something very different. On June 10th, Andrew 1985, McCarthy. New York Magazine Andrew McCarthy. published Hollywood's Brat Pack. I just remember seeing that cover and thinking, oh, <laughs> from then on, my career and the career of everyone who was involved was branded to the Brat Pack. I'm really sorry that article had to come out. I had a crush on her, y'all, who didn't have a crush on this redhead from 16 Candles. It's a Breakfast Club. Uh, uh, that's another one. I can't think of it. But everyone had a crush on this chick. What is her name? I've never talked to anybody about what that was like. So I thought it might be interesting to try and contact everyone who was in the Brat Pack. Hey, Emilio Estevez. This is Andrew McCarthy calling you. Hey, Allie. Hey, Dem hey, hey Molly. Let's call... Molly Ringward. That's it. I forgot about... Uh, Ali Sheedy, I believe that's her name. She was in a Breakfast Club movie too. She's in the I forgot she was even in the Brat Pack for real. It's so many of them. Oh, Rob. Hello, Judd. <laughs> Judd Nelson, another Breakfast Club movie actor. <laughs> Me? You around? <laughs> you were not interested in talking about the Brat Pack for years. I turned everything down. How come you're talking to me? Because you called me. It was time that we clear the air on a couple of things. I love your stuff, Bob. Hey, thank you. I hated the Brad Pack for decades. What a disaster. If what? you could have the Brad Pack name not exist, would you? Hmm. <laughs> In 
really irritated me. They said, what's more important to you, the movie or your life? And I said, the movie, Andrew. <laughs> Have you talked to the others? The others, like, again, it feels like a Damn, I know yeah. he was in it. Why did we take it as an offense? Well, as opposed to like the brat. <laughs> because we were young. We were afraid we were brats, you know. <laughs> Are you in the brat pack? I'm brat pack adjacent. That's what I would take. Damn. I'm not in the brat pack. I'm about to say, I didn't know he was in the brat pack. Don't you crush on you back in the day? You did not, Andrew. No, you did not. Being in the brat pack not only changed all of our lives, it changed what entertainment is. But I mean, I'm not going to say we were the Beatles or anything. Well, we didn't fill Shea Stadium. There were moments. We <laughs> could have. <laughs> 1985? I think we could have. So what are you filming? Oh, we're just doing this documentary. What's it about? Ancient history. <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm a little confused now. So they didn't like being in the Brat Pack? Okay, I'm not really understanding all that now. So, wow. I would have loved being a part of that. I don't care if they was calling me a brat back in the 80s. You making money, you in movies, you surrounded by glamour, you surrounded by like all the good things in life and you worried about being called a brat? Man, uh, you had people who wanted to be, probably was thirsty to get up in that group and they all wanted out wow all right. wow i did not know that so i'm very curious now to see what this is going to be about but i love the fact of seeing all them together i hope they all are together on, you know like all of them bring them all in to talk about it not just one-on-one sitting down and shit and they're giving a person you know their opinions on why the bright pad was good why it was bad to be in i want to see them all together Wow, it's a, it's a few of them I didn't even think was in the bride pack. I'm pretty sure they're going to reveal more people that was in it. I know it was, a, it was a nice amount of them. Wow, very, very interesting. So hit me up in the comments and let me know what y'all think. Are y'all interested in to know more about the brats? The brat pack? You know what I'm saying? From back in the 80s? To Pretty in Pink. That was her other movie. I had to get back at that. So Pretty in Pink. That probably was her top. I don't know. I don't know. She had a lot of, you know, 80s. She was like the 80s woman everybody wanted. Molly Ringwald. Like the 80s woman we all had crush on. I don't care who you were. You had a crush on that redhead. For real. But uh, I think what's his on that too? What's that kid from uh, National Lampoon's movies? And uh, He played in... Um, the Michael Myers movie that came out a couple of years ago. He was a big time star. He was in a breakfast club. He was a nerd. You wouldn't even, like, he looks totally different now. You wouldn't even think that's him because he was a skinny, six feet, like, nerdy type looking dude back in the day. Now he's this big, big, rough neck looking dude. For real. Complete, I mean, complete turnaround when it comes to the way he looks. Complete. You would not think that. That's the same person from back in the 80s and 90s. But as always, thank y'all for tuning in. Until next time, make sure y'all hit that subscribe button. Help your boy out as always trying to get to 10K. So subs, you know I can get there, but only with y'all help. Peace, love, and deuces.